Spirit, yes. Okay, good. So now, I just want to tell you guys what makes Islam a bit more different than the monotheism that you claim to believe. Now, when it comes to God Almighty, we single him out in his lordship. Meaning the following, yeah? This is Tawheed al -Rububiyya. Meaning, we believe that God Almighty is the one who has created us, maintains, takes care, and provides for us, yeah? He is the sole being that is our Lord, that has created us, that has created our action, that has created our destiny, everything. And we also have free will, yeah? So we say that we don't give that title or those attributes to nobody. We don't give it to Muhammad, peace be upon him. We don't give it to Jesus. We don't give it to Moses. We don't give it to Abraham. All of them are prophets. So we say what? We single him out in his lordship. Let's not forget, yeah? Okay, good. Now, the second part of Tawheed is Tawheed al meaning this is where we and the Christians differ, which is that we single him out in worship. So when we pray, we don't say, oh Muhammad, or oh Jesus, or oh Moses, can you please give me da 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 da? Or I'm in a difficult situation, please help me. Or if the plane is dropping, I say, oh Moses, oh Jesus, oh Muhammad. We don't do that. We single him out in his worship. So when we turn to God Almighty, we turn to him alone. So we don't say, in the name of the Son or the Holy Spirit. No, we turn directly to God Almighty. Yeah? Now, the third aspect is Asma wa Safat, his names and his attributes. So, we don't say that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is um, he, he's the all knowing, he's the all powerful. No, because what that means is it's blasphemy because you're giving the attributes that belong to God to a mere human being. Does that make sense? So, single him out in lordship, single him out in, in worship, and we single him out in his names and attributes that belong to him. Now, in Christianity, the problem arises when it comes to Uluhiyah and when it comes to Asma wa Safad, which is what? That you say that Jesus is all-knowing, if he's God, right? Okay, now we say there is a problem here, because now what you're doing is you're giving the title, the attributes of God Almighty to a mortal being, right? So we say, for example, when Jesus went to the fig tree, he did not know it was not the season for the fig tree. So we cannot come and say he's the all-knowing because how could he not know the season? Yeah? When they came to him and said, when is the day of doom? He said, I don't know. Not myself, not the angels in heaven. Nobody knows except the Father. So you see in the Bible, Jesus always refers to the Father. Yeah? I myself can do nothing. As I see, I judge and my judgment is just because I do not seek my will but the will of my Father. When he went to the mountain of Gethsemane, frustrated like a Muslim does, and turn to God Almighty. Now, the question that we need to ask is the following. Do you believe, and imagine you guys had children. Imagine your kids grow up one day and say, what's your name by the way? Andreas. Andreas. They turn to Andreas. Imagine your child, Andreas, turns to you and says, you know what, for dad? You're not even my dad, buff. Yeah? I, I'm going to go and thank Ali. Ali did so much for me. How would you feel? I'd be disappointed. Why are you disappointed? And you get, you get, you get, you get. not say that I'm his father. Okay, good. Now, I'm just giving you a, a simple analogy. How do you think, and with God Almighty, we don't say God Almighty's feelings are hurt, we don't say that. We say it's blasphemy. Now, if you guys are in need, then imagine instead of turning to God who created the heavens and the earth, you ascribe it to Jesus or Muhammad or for anyone for that being. It's not just Jesus, it can be anything. Or like idol worshippers, they say this tree is the one who. How do you think? Do you not think that is blasphemous towards God? I think so. Okay, so what we're seeing as Muslims is this. Let's come to common terms between us and you that we worship God alone. Very simple. And it's math. Two plus two is four. Quick maths, yeah? Okay. I think I heard one rapper say that. I heard. I wasn't listening to it, yeah? It's haram. Music is haram. So, the point is what? What we're saying is that, do you not think logically it follows that we worship God alone? Without any partners? Not alone. Why not? No, no, but think, think about it's it. Like, not like alone. No, no, no but why, why, why can we not worship God alone? For example, if you guys are driving a car and there's two steering wheels, you turn left, he turns right, what happens? It goes straight. No, it doesn't. It goes into uh, somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, so, so the, the point is this, yeah, that there has to be one ultimate being. Because if God Almighty is Alpha and Omega, no, he has no beginning or end, he's, he's everlasting, God, Jesus was a mortal being, he died, right? Okay, so what we're seeing in a nutshell is this mortal being who died, why, what makes him, makes you guys see him as God? 
what is it that he has that makes him God? To you, all of you, don't point at him. <laughs> like, what, what makes, like, do, do you believe a man is worthy of worship as a God? Imagine the one who created the heavens and the earth. He was like you, he had flesh like you. He walked like you. Do you think that's befitting of God? How? How does the all being, how does the one that's all knowing become ignorant? How does the one that's powerful become so weak that he's nailed to the cross? Okay, so what I'm saying is in a nutshell, look, I'm not here to corner you. I'm just trying to, thought-provoking discussion, do you get what I'm trying to say? I don't want to come this across like I'm, you know, trying to win a point. I'm not trying to do that. I'm sincerely thought-provoking, yeah? What I'm just saying is this, brothers, yeah? Let's think about that. If we can get hurt by our child not appreciating us and giving the credit that we've done to somebody else, for God Almighty, it's the greatest form of blasphemy that instead of thanking him, we go and thank Jesus. Or as Muslims, they don't, instead of thanking Allah, we go and thank Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's it, that's our belief is, is Muslims. Do you have any questions? Have you read the Quran before? The Quran? The Quran. Have you read it before? Can I get you that? Can you guys get you a copy? No, I'm okay. Okay, alright, so okay. You have a right to not. Any reason why you don't give the Quran a chance or Islam? Like, what, what, what is stopping? Because I was not a Muslim about 13 years ago. It's, I not, it's not about not giving a chance. It's yeah. like, we were kind of like doing something, you know. It's not about not giving you a chance of reading oh, the Quran. Okay. No, we're no, kind no. of like yeah. on our way to somewhere, so it's okay. not like... Okay, okay, <laughs> That's fine. No, I'm, I'm not trying to say like... Oh, you're not 100% understand. I'm going to let understand. you guys go now. I said like reading the Quran, I, not, not me reciting it. I said, why don't you guys read the Quran? Like, give it a chance. When you have time, not now, I'm not saying okay, now. Uh, I can yeah, when you, when you have chance, like, yeah. This, maybe, maybe these Muslims, we'll finish now. We'll finish that. Maybe these Muslims, you know, just give them a copy and that's it. Thank you for your time. Forgive me for holding you guys too long. Um, Forgive me again, again, guys. It was nice talking to you guys. Take care and make sure, guys, give them the Quran, let them read it. Yeah, this will be on YouTube. You guys can watch it, inshallah. Uh, my name is Ali Dawa, but this might be on our other channel. But keep an eye. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, guys, as you can see, you know, in a nutshell, our job is just to convey the message, and that's exactly what we've done. And yeah, that's it, guys. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide them, and that's all we can say. I need to go now. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.